According to sheriff investigators, it seems as if Jeremiah Beauchelle wanted to go on a killing spree. But why? Why kill his girlfriend? And after her body was found here in Lenox Township at a friend's house, Beauchelle talked to a detective on the phone, and they say he made it clear he wasn't done. One of his, uh, his goals was to, uh, to, to take out two other people uh, that were at that transition, Terrence Mission Shop. Uh, once we had that information, our investigators actually called the uh, transmission shop and the uh, employee there contacted us or told our investigator that he was just here. Um, he has on a, a tactical vest, uh, bandolier with bullets on it, and uh, he left uh, leaving in an unknown direction. And for hours, Macomb County Sheriff deputies searched for 36-year-old Jeremiah Beauchelle. They believe the ex-con murdered his girlfriend, Lisa Ann Fabree, Monday afternoon, and deputies spotted him not long after he left the transmission shop in Lapeer County, where investigators say he may have gone to kill two others. Deputies were undercover when they spotted Beauchelle in the area, but he may have figured out they were cops and fired a shot at them. He also fired a shot at a pedestrian, and the chase was on. Michigan State Police and Lapeer County Sheriff deputies pursued Bochel until he lost control of his pickup. And uh, was taken out uh, near uh, Wilder Road in a crash. Deputies approached the vehicle along with uh, troopers, and uh, it appeared that he was he was reaching for one of the many guns. Uh, but with restraint, our, our uh, deputies, MSP troopers, uh, gave uh, verbal commands, and he surrendered and was taken into custody. It's unclear when Jeremiah Bochel could face any new charges, but he is no stranger to trouble. He has previous convictions for fleeing from police, weapons, and escape from jail. In Lenox Township, Kimberly Craig for the Now Detroit.